guess what I just got? The new iPhone? Shut up. Let me have a look at that. Do you order some stuff from like ASOS or something? Yeah, is it arrived? Oh yeah, it's down at the post box. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna go get it. Okay, no worries. Hi guys, welcome back. I bought an iPhone 13 Pro Max. This is probably the most satisfying bit of all. Beautiful. Look at that, so shiny. You wanna look? Hello? Josh, you better not be open to my new iPhone. Gotta go. So I suppose technically, I didn't buy it, and it doesn't belong to me. I suppose it kind of belongs to me. Anyway, regardless, let's have a look inside, and then let's go shoot a POV. Yeah? Exciting. Phone. Your cable. Oh, okay, that's that, that thing that everyone loses in five minutes. And that's it. How do you turn it on? <laughs> so you'd be pleased to know I figured out how you turn the iPhone on. It's exactly the same as how you turn every other iPhone on, you just press this button. Anyway, I've come down to do a little bit of a walk. I've never done this walk before, so I don't know what I'm in for here. Um, it's gonna be more about shooting landscapes. We've got mountains, we've got water, we've got boats, that sort of thing. So yeah, I just thought we'd come out and see what the Pro Max has got to offer. Let's go. I can't believe we've never been down here. It's so, so good. The light's just getting quite nice now as well. Oh, it's just unreal down here. I can't believe I've never been down here. This is really nice, kind of shooting this. A bit down low, but on so 0.5, so it's nice and wide. It's quite cool. 0.5 again. Imagine living, imagine living here. Like, how much must you pay to live there? I've literally never walked so slow in my entire life. Every single, 10 meters I go, I'm just like, well, I need to take another photo here. Ah, oh, this boat's really nice, look. Shooting this at times one. Oh, raw, we've remembered. I think I'm also gonna... I just quite like seeing the boat and kind of centralizing it and seeing the water. Anyway, let's keep going. We've got some more boats over there. This is actually really nice, shooting me through the rushes and just seeing the boat. I'm shooting at times three here. So what I wanna do is I wanna utilize the new macro feature in the phone. So I'm gonna head back to where I started. There's a nice little um, cafe. It's got like some flowers and things in the garden. So I'm gonna go and see if I can take a few macro shots there. So let's head back. It's a shame, because I wanna keep walking that way. But the light's probably got about 30 minutes maybe of light. So we should walk back. So this is the boat shed what I was talking about and they've got a few sort of daffodils, are they? Dandelions? Daffodils? I don't know. Anyway, I'm just going to take a photo of the actual place first because it's, it's actually a really picturesque kind of cottagey building thing, isn't it? Hit the raw before I forget. Let's try 
try a different angle. Go super wide for one as well. Beautiful. Right. Let's see what we can do with these flowers. So you you hear and then you when you get a bit closer, all of a sudden it changes to a macro lens. But then when you pull back to try and get the full flower, it goes to the other lens. So I want to use the macro lens. So so we're gonna have to crop a little bit of the flower off there. I wonder if there's a macro lens on the on the times three. Oh yeah, there is. That's cool. What about this here? Oh, this is better. You want to get the small flowers, don't you, for the micro photos? Oh, I've got another idea. What about the pebbles? I don't know if you're going to see that there. Shoot these pebbles, I mean... They're not massively interesting, but... <laughs> right, anyway, that's it, macro done. Oh, look at the sunset. Wow. Okay. It's quite nicely framed with the tree and the boats and the hedge. Beautiful. What about this boat? Oh, I've kept, I've, for all these shots, I forgot to press raw. Anyway, pardon me. These will not be raw, most of these. Maybe I'll shoot this in landscape, look. Times seven, how is that gonna look? I mean, yeah, it's, it's all right, isn't it? It's all right. Wow, look at the mountain right now. I just kinda wanna get a bit of a minimal shot here. Of just mountain and sky. I didn't even realize that on portrait mode, you could change the aperture. So you've got down to 1.4, which is crazy. Anyway, I thought, let's use that. Let's see what that looks like though. Right now it looks pure rubbish. I'll show it you on the screen, but. So that's at 1.4, let's give it a try. It. Let's go F4. Oh, so you can do this at times one. Right, let's see how that looks. Oh, there's a bit of bit of blur there. But again, when you zoom in on what when you zoom in on what you're trying to actually shoot, it's just yeah, it's not the best. You, I mean, you can't beat the camera for the that sort of stuff right now. So there's one more thing on the phone that I actually want to play around with, which is cinematic mode. So you can shoot from f2 to f16. Now that's interesting. I'll try shoot at f2 here for these flowers. I'll shoot it in landscape and then I'll actually put it you in the YouTube video and you can decide whether you like it or not. Let's put the aperture up to like maybe f 5.6. See what that's like. But a bit less blur. Yeah, still looks really weird around the edges of the of the flowers, doesn't it? Anyway, we tried. Well, that was great. That was really good fun. I really enjoyed shooting with the phone. Um, it's no different from my phone. I've got a 12 Pro Max. Uh, com feels exactly the same. Uh, I just really enjoyed being out there. It was a nice sunset. That walk was really nice. And yeah, it was fun trying out the macro lens. That was different. I've never shot with a macro lens. Um, tried the cinematic lens, thought it was a bit average uh, just because I'm used to using cameras and things. So, but yeah, you, if you don't use cameras, you might think that that cinematic lens is awesome. Anyway, I hope you uh, this helped you decide whether you want to buy one of these bad boys. My opinion, if you've got a 12, don't bother. 11, maybe you should upgrade. Anyway, it's up to you. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more. Hit like if you like the, this video and um, I will see you next time. Bye.